you go and do see some sights or you go and see a nice film or play or opera, it's only nice if you're sharing it with someone. And it's exactly the same in medicine, in andrology. Open up to everyone is the most important thing. The last thing I want to ask you, this is my personal point of view. Uh, for the academic centers, we do three things. The practice, research, and education. I believe education and the research is critical to improve your own practice when you see the patient. Do you agree? And if you agree, uh, could you please tell me, uh, tell us your, your experience with this? Because you, obviously, you did all the researches and the training. Yeah, I mean, I've trained most of the andrologists in, in the UK and you know, quite a few from overseas. They're all encouraged to do research projects. Oh. I mean, if you want to be at the center and offer the modern techniques, mm -hmm. Um, then you have to go and be part of the research community. Um, In other words, you have to, I mean, we do basic science and we've got labs and mm -hmm. postdocs and professors so in andrology. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have research coming out and hopefully we can then change some of the treatments and perhaps, I mean, we have changed some of the treatments for various different conditions, Pironi's disease, priapism, for example. And this is only through research. Mm -hmm. And then you have guidelines and they mm -hmm. then quote the London group. Mm -hmm. um, so the research is quite important to, to, to keep abreast of, or to be at the top of your game. Mm -hmm. The education of teaching, of course, is just pleasurable. Uh, you've got to teach, there's no point knowing something and not then <laughs> giving that knowledge on. So transferring knowledge is important. And in an academic unit, you know, you have both. Tends to, the research and education tend sure. to go together. Uh, did you experience that uh, the education, you know, training, let's say surgeon training, and the research was improving your practice? Yeah, it does. Um, well, it improves my practice because once you get a reputation for both of those aspects, then you want more people. So research fellows will then come ah, uh, and they will then do research clinics and see patients and I will do all your ultrasounds for you because I'm doing this project and I'm doing that um, uh, and so yeah I mean it's a benefit to have all these people doing this uh, and of course you're leading the way and so patients will find you because you've got the modern stuff <laughs> uh, I'm not doing stuff that's five years out of date mm. You just mentioned that uh, you accidentally uh, started as an andrologist, but I think it's a great luck for the UK people to have you. Because uh, without you, I, I don't think that there will be a, those huge, you know, you devoted yourself a lot. We all know that. You devoted yourself to build a practice, to teach the others, even though you said the teaching is a pleasurable, uh, but not everybody thinks it that way, including myself. I'm still in the learning how to treat and teach the other surgeons. But you did all the work, so uh, over your over all those uh, de dedicated and the devoted years, is there any words you can uh, give words of wisdom those who will follow your path? It's a very lonely place if you keep everything to yourself. Oh. Just as if you go and do uh, see some sights or you go and see a nice film or play or opera, it's only nice if you're sharing it with someone. Oh. And it's exactly the same in medicine, in andrology. I can go and do a good operation and think, say to myself, that's a, oh, I'm really pleased with that. <laughs> but it feels so much better mm. if your assistant says, that was a fantastic operation, I learned a lot from that. Oh. And so sharing your knowledge uh, and just not not actually trying to hide anything and be on your own but actually to to open up to everyone is the most important thing i just want to finish this talk with the uh, utmost gratitude of myself i'm i really feel that i'm lucky that i was able to meet you and get trained by you not just the technical or medical aspect 
But as a surgeon, as a, as a human being, you told me without saying or without intending how to be with your patient and be with your colleagues. Because uh, those two things are inev inevitable people you can you should meet all throughout your life as a surgeon. Yes. So thank you so much for sharing your time. Thank you very much. And uh, hope to see uh, your kingdom more prosperous in the future. <laughs>